Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to more Breath of the Seven. All right, what is down these stairs? Oh. I'm gonna give her four attacks. This gives her three, but yeah, you know, it'll, it'll flip the one less attack, but it's a lot more firepower. Scientist man. The crystals! You've brought the crystals! Oh, joyous day! Yay, we win! Not yet. <laughs> Just what's going on, old man? Forgive me. You must have many questions. Allow me to explain. I am Dr. Titus Dark, the last survivor of the human race. Many years ago, the humanity, humanity wiped itself out in a magic apocalypse. Millions of innocent people were killed. The undead flourished in the now dead land. But I survived in this laboratory. Ever since then, I've been working to avert that terrible disaster. I've created a time machine that will allow me to go back into the past and change history. All I need for the time machine to work is those crystals that you're carrying. So you create robots to go fetch the crystals for you? Precisely. Give me the crystals and help me rewrite the past. Wait a second. What happens to us if you change the past? You'll be erased from reality. It'll be like you never existed. Like you are merely a dream. I know it's a terrible sacrifice to make. One that I could never do myself. But it's for the greater good. What say, leader? What should we do? What should we do? Should we give the crystals to it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what it's doing. Yes, sure. <laughs> but thou must! Sure! Damn hands over the crystals. Excellent! Not so fast. You feel the presence of a terrifying demon. Look out! Ultimate evil approaches. Because reasons. Alright, magic. We want the uh, rate of fire going. Research. Call the wolves. And regenerate. Okay. Now, let's start bopping some fools. Holy strike. Holy blast. Oh, wait. No, before we do that, uh, reach blast. Whoa, did you see his hit points? Holy crap, okay, um... Smash is a lot more powerful than one. Let's see what it does, see if that does anything. Oh, I forgot your teamwork. Crap, can't do that.
Okay. Another bullet strike. Bullet blast. Great light. Smack. And of course, character is down. Yep, we can finish it right now. Only blast and Bam. It's over. That must have been that thing that messed up with the programming of your robots, Doctor. Indeed. I am lucky that you brave heroes were here to stop it. Dr. Tyson Stark pulls out a handheld time machine and inserts the crystals. Thank you once again, and I'll never forget the sacrifice you've all made to save countless lives. This is it. Now that I am, shall we say, making the ultimate sacrifice, will you love me, my beauty? Now think about it. Is it close enough? La Braves! Dan, thank you for everything you've done. Meaning you was the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Dr. Dark disappears. Sarah. And so, Dr. Dog traveled back in time, and through unspecified methods, managed to stop the apocalypse from ever happening. Peace was restored, and the world was green once again. In remembrance of the undead heroes that had given so much to save the world, Dr. Dog created a monument in their honor. Farewell, brave heroes, and receive the eternal rest you so much deserve. Congratulations, you've beaten the game. Let's save the epitaphs you've earned. Get the tabs you've heard. You should try to unlock bonus modes. Wait, wait. MP recovery is reduced. It already wasn't much there. Reports by defeating bosses while under level scores can be viewed on the center screen. Only available to you. Well, that was Breath of Death 7. That was a fun little game. I had fun with that. That was good. That was good stuff. But uh, I will catch you all on the next Spets Plays, and we'll see what we're going to do next time. Even I don't know yet, but we'll see you then. Later.